Aren't these just the cutest Pop-Tarts you've ever seen in your whole life? They are for me. I'm really excited about it. Bo thinks so too. He says they're really cute, you guys. Hey, you guys. I'm Rashawn from Food Sauce Versus. And sometimes I like to do little crafty things in the kitchen that don't require a whole lot of prep and don't make a huge mess. You feel me? So I'm gonna show you guys how I make homemade Pop-Tarts and believe me, it's gonna take a super cute picture. So we all are familiar with a pre-made pie crust product. It's rolled up already into a sheet, which is super convenient. I have a little bit of flour on my counter surface here. That's just to keep this pie crust from sticking. And you can see it's in a round. Well, Pop-Tarts aren't round. So a couple tools that I have to get started with this uh, homemade Pop-Tart is a ruler and a paring knife, or really just like a small, sharp knife. I'm not actually making any measurements, but the ruler is gonna help me cut straight lines because I know I'm not the only one that has problem cutting in straight lines. I'm making little notches, basically a rectangle border that shows me where I'm gonna need to cut the edges off of this round pie crust. And then with my ruler as a guide, I take off one of the edges. Boom, straight edge, just like that. Now we're just gonna cut that in half. I'm gonna transfer these pieces of pie dough to a baking sheet covered with parchment paper. And don't worry, I definitely have a plan for all of those pie dough scraps. Stay tuned for that. Now I'm gonna take a toothpick or a chopstick and on two of the sheets of pie crust, I'm gonna poke holes. These holes are for venting, but they're also sort of like an iconic thing that you see on a Pop-Tart are those holes on the top. So we're kind of doing both. Okay, so now this pie dough is gonna go in the refrigerator to chill for probably just about 10 minutes. And then we'll put our jam in the middle. We'll get jamming. Once you've got your pie crust that's been cut out and chilled, you're gonna take about a tablespoonful of the strawberry jam or whatever kind of jam you decide to use and put it on in the middle of the piece that you did not poke the holes onto. And it might be more like a tablespoon and a half. We don't wanna skimp ourselves with the jam. So I have an offset spatula, but in this case you can just use a spoon or something. We're just gonna spread the jam in the middle of this pie crust. And you're gonna make sure you're leaving a border around the edge, about a quarter of an inch at border. So now I'm gonna put them together. I have one egg yolk, and this is gonna be my egg wash to make sure that pie crust gets a really good seal on it. And I have one of my little paint brushes, but if you don't have any paint brushes, just use your finger. So around that border that you left from the jam, that's where this egg yolk is gonna go. So then you take the piece that you poked your holes in, and that's gonna go on top of your jammy piece. Kind of press around that border with your fingertips. And I really like a crimped edge on a homemade Pop-Tart. So with a fork, we're gonna go around the edge of the Pop-Tart and make this really cute border. This is not a detail on a traditional like store-bought classic Pop-Tart, but I do, I just think it's so cute. And plus it really helps that pie dough stay together, which we don't want our Pop-Tarts to explode. Fingers crossed. Not explode, explode, just like we don't want the jam to come out. Like how violent is this homemade Pop-Tart situation if they're gonna like explode? Here are my first two Pop-Tarts. Trying to show them to you, but it's not cooperating. So these guys are gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for like eight to 10 minutes. That is another super great thing about the pre-made pie crust is it takes like no time to cook. While my Pop-Tarts finished baking, I did promise I would show you guys what to do with those pie scraps so you don't have to waste them. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but this is just something that I grew up doing and they're basically pie crust cookies. So they're re it's really obviously super simple. So I just took those pieces of pie, crap, pie crust scraps, words are hard, and cut them into pieces. And then you take a little bit of just regular granulated sugar and sprinkle some sugar over the pieces of pie crust and then sprinkle them with a little bit of cinnamon. You'll bake these in the oven for probably just like 
six minutes or so. You just want them to kind of get crispy and golden. So now you have little cinnamon sugar pie crust cookies that go great on top of ice cream or with a hot cup of tea or a hot cup of coffee. So have fun with that. Don't waste those scraps. They'll come in handy and they'll be delicious. So while my Pop-Tarts cool, we've got to make the icing. You can just do like a classic powdered sugar, milk, glaze kind of icing situation, um, but I'm actually gonna do a royal icing, which gets a little bit more firm, and also I get to use that egg white from that egg yolk that I used earlier. And I'm gonna take a little pinch of kosher salt, and I'm gonna whisk this until it gets frothy. Frothy like so. And then I'm gonna add two cups of confectionate or powdered sugar to the egg white. I'm gonna do just a squeeze of lemon juice. That's probably like a teaspoon, not very much. And about a half teaspoon of vanilla. And I should probably get rid of my whisk because my whisk is not gonna do it for me right now. Didn't I say something about this being like less of a mess? Well, the spatula worked so much better than the whisk, so. Here is my royal icing, and the lemon flavor in there is actually gonna go really great with the strawberry. It's very thick, if you can see, but it's gonna hold up really, really well. And give it a nice, like, crunchy texture. Here they are, out of the oven. They look really good. I have my icing in my makeshift piping bag, which is just a plastic bag, and I cut a little tip the tip off of the corner there. I'm first gonna start by doing kind of like a little border. And now I'm just gonna fill, like kind of zigzag it in. And with my offset spatula, just sort of like spread that icing out that I zigzagged in the middle. And last but not least, sprinkles. I have a cute little rose colored color coordinating for Strawberry Town sprinkles. How cute. But use whatever you have. If you have sprinkles, that's great. And if you don't have sprinkles, that's cool too. I'm gonna frost the rest of these, let the icing set up, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna take a really super cute picture of these super photogenic little homemade Pop-Tarts. I just wanna keep it really simple. I don't think all like photo sets, especially since I'm working from home right now, need to be super in detailed with a background and a environment and everything like that. I think these Pop-Tarts are super cute and super pretty. So what we're gonna do is get super close in on a shot of these guys. So I'll show you how I set this up and then I'm gonna take my really pretty beauty photo and then obviously you guys will see that. Okay, you guys, here it is. Aren't they so pretty? Oh my God, they're so cute. And then here's the one that I broke into. And you can see I added some crumbs from the pie crust pop tart part. And then I added a little bit of extra jam so that you can see where it spilled out and some sprinkles around the surface too. Thanks for watching you guys. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to Food Styles Versus on YouTube. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram at Rashawn Marie. Also, follow my recipes on Instagram. That way you can check out all the recipes that I'm finding inspiration for a lot of my Food Stylist Versus videos right now and everything else in sort of my everyday life. Take care, you guys. See you next time.